Okay, here I am. And I am probably not centered where I should be, but that's okay. I am recording. Good. Okay. So I want to I want to give a voiceover for this uh, VR tutorial. Welcome to Red Giant's Vertical Slice. Red Giant's uses a unique wheelchair locomotion mechanic for the best experience. Sit in a chair that allows your arms to move freely at your side. When you're ready to enter the game, be sure you're looking forward. Your wheelchair will align to the direction you are looking. Each side of the wheelchair responds independently to your input. Grab the left or right wheel and move your hand forward. Let go of the wheel and it will roll with the force you applied. Here are some tips to make sure that you can move around and that the wheelchair mechanic as it is in the virtual slice works out to the best of its ability right now. So first tip, when you're recentering, sit up perfectly straight so your head is aligned with your pelvis before recentering. This will ensure your center of rotation is as close to the wheelchair axle as possible. Press the A button to recenter the wheelchair. Be sure to look forward before pressing A. So here I am sitting up straight. I'm not centered in the wheelchair, oh, centered where the axle is. So sit up straight, look forward, press A. All right, now I'm generally in the middle of the chair where the wheels are. So as I sit in my own physical chair, just about in the center, let me try that again. All right, so maybe have my head a little bit further back as if I'm doing some type of yoga stretch for my neck, and that's actually better. So now I'm just about in the center of the chair and I can move about pretty well. Here's what my chair looks like. Left grab area, this is actually where we have a collider that allows me to, with my uh, VR hands, grab the collider and then move that. The delta force that I apply to that translates then to a wheel collider, uh, the torque uh, on the wheel collider physics for each individual side of the wheelchair. And then in the game, you do have a place here to put your letter when you pick that up from from your grandfather. But other than that, it's pretty responsive and I can <laughs> wheel myself around pretty well. Put some colliders here so I can't bump too much. But uh, I have to say that the wheelchair locomotion is actually working pretty good. Takes some time to get used to, though. I have to. I have to admit that uh, there's some coordination there with that middle grab button, and to make sure that when you're moving your hands forward, you're actually moving both controllers uh, at the same time. You're grabbing at the same time. You're letting go at the same time, and it's that independent interaction on each one of these wheels that really causes. Um, Cause it to be a little bit cumbersome um, if you're not used to moving around in a in a wheelchair or in the virtual wheelchair because I can put more torque on this side and all of a sudden I'm like kind of going crazy um, so you have to try to make sure that both arms are working at the same time but then I'm really feeling like it's nearly like a real physical wheelchair and again because I'm using a physics um, interaction between the wheel torque and the collision to the floor. That's the tutorial.